Hi everyone, well it seems such a long time since I've spoken to you via video and uh, in touch base with my YouTube community so th and Facebook community, so thank you for being here with me. I'm Dr Wendy Sweet from My Menopause Transformation. I My research interest has been in women's health and ageing and I became really interested in the menopause transition. The more that I was reading as part of my doctoral research, the more I began to understand that we need to change our lifestyle and some of our uh, lifestyle behaviours as we come through this menopause transition, which can, which can go on for a number of years, about eight to ten years. By the time we move from perimenopause or premenopause all the way to postmenopause, there's a lot of different changes that go on in the body. And uh, this is what I focus on in terms of uh, women understanding that as we are transitioning into our, our aging years, um, our post-menopause years, then it's really important that we work with our body and we actually allow our body to change. There's a lot of emphasis on different diets and different exercises and all sorts of things, but I've positioned menopause in the women's health and aging research. That means that in my coaching community, the women who do choose to come on my 12-week program, um, I, uh, I focus on um, a modified Mediterranean diet and I've modified it because there are certain nutrients that we need as we get older and there's certainly um, a, a lot less emphasis on fat in my programs, particularly for those women who are already overweight. Uh, you've heard me, some of you will have heard me talk about our liver and the changing of our, our liver and our gallbladder as we come through uh, midlife. So it's really important that we start to understand that um, we do have to change some aspects of our nutrition uh, to have a lot less um, fat in our diet than, than what we previ previously think. And we don't need as much protein either. I have a number of nutritionists on my program and and they are really surprised that I've actually brought them back to a lot of the nutrition that they learned about in terms of health and aging by getting them off high amounts of protein. Um, the whole protein debate has come through the fitness industry, of which I've been part of. But uh, we, as we come through menopause, we've got to be really careful about the amounts of proteins and fats that we have. Our muscles are also changing, and as part of those changes, we don't. Um, readily, as readily um, absorb uh, calcium. Sometimes if our vitamin D levels are low, then we may not be absorbing as much calcium. The role of vitamin D in the body is to help calcium be absorbed. And if we're doing lots of exercise, then our, our muscles are actually using up a lot of calcium in the muscle contraction pathway. So we do have to be really careful about um, how much exercise we actually doing uh, and whether that's matching our calcium intake. The other nutrient that's really important is magnesium um, and that's important for our cardiac health. We forget about our heart health but heart disease is the number one risk factor for women as they come through menopause and into post-menopause. So uh, without you all rushing to the supermarket, um, I, uh, I like the Fluidix magnesium. Uh, we need 400 milligrams a day so this helps to contribute to the amount of magnesium that we have. I don't have shears in Fluidix, by the way, but it's just a nice readily absorbable form of uh, magnesium. And we also forget about water. I'm really big on water, particularly for you bigger ladies who've, um, who might have fatty liver problems, then or you're doing a lot of exercise or you're living uh, in countries that have got uh, very high humidity and high sunshine hours, we have to focus on our water. One of the things that happens as we come through menopause and with our busy lives and our busy lifestyles is that our stress levels go up. But as our stress levels goes up, then we produce more cortisol. Now that's a hormone that some of you have heard me talk about. Cortisol is, uh, chronic cortisol is problematic because it causes um, progesterone to decline or to, to kind of decline quite quickly. 
and progesterone does get forgotten as part of the um, the changing hormonal milieu of menopause. But progesterone helps with our libido, and I know that you're many of you are interested in that. It also helps with our bone density, and it also helps with reducing um, fluid retention. So, if we've got a lot of stress in our life, and um, and who hasn't these days with the pandemic going on? But if we've got a lot of stress in our lives, or we're feeling time poor and overwhelmed with all that we do, then the cortisol goes high um, throughout the day and into the evening, and that crashes progesterone. And proge low progesterone is implicated with our sore breasts, with um, you know our, our pain in our muscles, and also in bloating and fluid retention in our tissues. So one of the things that we can do is actually uh, drink a lot of water, um, around two liters a day and and just make sure that we're changing our nutrition to compensate and then of course managing just really reflecting on how we can change some aspects of our life so that we can manage stress better so I'm really big on that with the, with the programs and of course if we're not sleeping then this is another stressor on women. So it's really important that we manage our sleep. And uh, and, and that's what I focus on with my uh, the first modules that women do as they come into the program. If you haven't, if you want to know more, then jump on the website, have a look at my articles. My two-hour masterclass on menopause is on there. Uh, I still can't travel um, internationally yet, but uh, I'll get that back uh, one day, hopefully. But at the moment, that is online. There's a small cost to it. So, but it's two hours long and I've got some fabulous uh, solutions in there. And it's really there to help you understand um, this, this time of our life where we're moving from um, our reproductive years into our non-reproductive years. And it doesn't matter if you're on hormone therapies or antidepressants. What I'm passionate about is that you also understand the lifestyle solutions. So I'm Dr. Wendy Sweet. Jump on the My Menopause Transformation website and I've got a lot of information for you on there.